Leh is a dream destination for many travelers in India and even for those who are visiting from overseas. Myself Sarang Pabarkar is starting the Ladakh Trilogy with this episode. Do click on subscribe button to get notified for upcoming episodes. Let me know how do you feel about it. So yesterday we arrived at Leh. Uh, we came by flight from Mumbai and uh, yesterday's day was for acclimatization. Are you ready? You bro, I'm ready. Hello to pay. We stayed at King Radha Hotel which was 7 kilometers away from the market. I would recommend you guys to stay near the market so it's easily accessible. We chose Royal Enfield Himalayan for our bike trip. Start! Moria! So our plan was to cover maximum places around Leh city within 30 kilometers, And we started with Leh Palace. Leh Palace, just situated in the center of the city, is an architectural wonder and engineering feat of Namgyal dynasty, the second dynasty of Ladakhi rulers. Uh, hello everyone, so we are at Leh Palace, uh, which is situated at the center of Leh city and from here you can see the entire view of the city and the mountain ranges around. There are, uh, this palace was built in 1630 AD and it has around 100 rooms and 9 floors. Thousand years ago, this beautiful land of Ladakh was also a battlefield for Chinese, Mongolians and Tibetans. Our next destination was just another 4 to 5 kilometers from Leh Palace and it was Simo Monastery. The Simo Monastery was founded in early 15th century. The Namgyal Simo Monastery in Leh is renowned for its three-story high solid gold idol of Maitreyi Buddha. So in Leh you get tired too early because of this low oxygen levels. We were at Leh Palace and we saw another monastery just behind the Leh Palace and we thought of riding it over, riding over here and uh, and this monastery is called uh, the Simu Monastery uh, which was built in 1430 and the main attraction of this monastery is uh, one, of, uh, one of the gold plated uh, Buddha statue uh, but unfortunately we couldn't go today because uh, the monastery was closed but yeah the views from here are quite scenic it is much taller than the Leh Palace, so you can see a much broader view. After monastery and Leh, we took a break and we visited the Tibetan markets in Leh city. So, on our next stop was Patrasa Gurudwara. There is an interesting story about this Gurudwara. During the period of 1518, when Guru Nanak was returning to Punjab through Srinagar after travelling to Sikkim, Nepal and Tibet, he rested at this place. One morning, when Guru was sitting in meditation, a demon pushed a large patthar or boulder down from the hilltop with the intention of killing the Guru. The boulder gained speed as it rumbled down the hillside. But in, when it touched Guru's body, it softened like a warm wax and came to the halt against Guru's back. The Guru kept meditating unhurt and undisturbed. Impressions of the footprint of the demon can still be seen on the Tathar. Our next destination was Sangam Valley, but on our way we also passed Magnetic Hill. Looking at the crowd, we didn't take a long break and we just left for the Sangam Valley.
are at conference of two sacred rivers. Uh, as you can see, there are two uh, colored water uh, prominently visible. The green one is for Zanskar and the, the brown one is for Indus River. So this is the point where both the rivers meet. This Sangam is located at the height of 12,000 feet above sea level and it also has one of the highest altitude rafting point. Here the rafting cost around 3000 rupees for 28 kilometers and around 1000 rupees for 8 kilometers. Let's come to lake. We are expected to stay indoors for around 24 hours. It is something which is called as acclimatization. It's a way to condition your body to the lack of oxygen which is present in the air. If you are not, if you don't do it, then people get into all sorts of complications such as difficulty in breathing and hence it's, it's very important that you allow your body to get used to these difficult conditions. Next destination, Hall of Fame is a museum constructed by Indian Army in memory of brave Indian soldiers who laid down their lives defending motherland in Indo-Pak wars. It is located on the Lake Argyll Road about 4 km from the city. From Hall of Fame, we reached the Leh city and we travelled to Shanti Stupa which was a couple of kilometers from the city. It was built to promote world peace and prosperity and was built by a Japanese Buddhist bhikshu Gyomyo Nakamura as a part of priest propaganda mission. And the last destination of Lay City was Gompa Soma Monastery and the Lay Market. So this monastery is located at the center of the market and is open for the tourists throughout the daytime. After visiting the monastery, you can take a time out and go for shopping in the Lay Market. If you have reached till this part of the video then I would ask you to take a couple of more seconds and click on the subscribe button of my channel and show me the support. In the next episode, we will be riding on one of the world's highest motorable passes, Khardungla Pass and we also did a go-kart race on the world's highest go-kart track. Hope you will enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next episode.